Well, we got a little problem we got to solve here. Um, I'm working on the sheet metal for the Brown and Sharp uh, wet guards, uh, the Brown and Sharp grinder uh, wet guards, and I need to make a long sheet metal bin. And uh, so I went to clean up the fingers on my uh, box and pan brake, and I discovered that uh, um, some of these plates are uh, um, the finger plates are bent. So I bought it used from somebody and uh, I've only done little short stuff on it. I never had to do anything long. So I started looking at it and wondering why there was a bunch of shims and crap in here. And uh, turns out that these plates are tweaked. Um, anyway, uh, turns out that these plates are heat treated and uh, they're, so they're a little bit tough to straighten. So uh, let's take a look at uh, uh, some emergency measures on uh, how we're going to get these straightened. It's 100 millimeters by uh, 150 millimeters, so it's four inches by six inches. And what is that? Half inch wall. Okay, I think that'll be good. All right, there's another little hidey hole piece there, four, four by four, and that looks like half inch wall too. So 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters. I think that uh, that'll work for us too. All right, let's see what we got in here. Yeah, this is the first thing I'm looking at here. Two and a half by one. And these were some old uh, mach uh, machining fixtures that I used. And they've just been sitting in here waiting for a, a new job. So I think we found a new job for you guys. So we got two of those. Two of those. All right, so we got to put more force than... Uh, than what we can do with uh, the arbor press. The arbor press is five tons. Um, I have some hydraulic stuff around here, but it's really not configured uh, the way we need it. So what we're going to make is we're going to make a little little shop built uh, hydraulic press, kind of a small scale, to uh, to try to straighten these plates. Now I'm going to borrow the. Uh, I got this monkey here. It's got a nifty 10 ton hydraulic ram in it. And I can just pop that out of there and I can steal that temporarily and uh, just plug it into the, uh, the pumper unit. So I think that'll be our, uh, our prime mover there. Let's get some measurements. Okay, so that's about 10 inches from the mounting surface to there. So we're gonna need that number. And then, um, so this is our this is our typical victim here that we need to straighten. So I want to put that up on some um, on something so I got some air underneath it to do a little straightening. So we'll push down, or we'll put a spreader plate on that and push down. So let's uh, all right. Let's start sketching here. And let's see, this is what I call table CAD here. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, so our ram's 10 inches, and um, we want to be, so this will be our base surface, and then we need to determine where the mounting surface for the ram is. So I'm just going to do this. So that's 10 inches of ram, but I don't want it just that size, so I want to add a little bit to that, I'm add a couple inches. And uh, so I'm a little 14. I'm going to say, let's go 15 because the ram's got plenty of stroke, um, but I don't want to make it so tall that, uh, that I got to pump for half an hour or stack a bunch of blocks up in here to do something. So let's say 15 to start with. That's, our, that's uh, what I would call our, uh, our open height of our, uh, uh, 
All right, we're just gonna do some chicken sketching here. Here's our ram, okay? And then uh, here's our platen surface here, okay? Like that, and the base is gonna be the, uh, um, the six inch tube, okay? And we said uh, we want 15 in here. So we're just doing a stack up here, and then we got our mounting surface here, okay? And those are going to be those bars that are up in the rack, and those are two and a half, okay? That's ten. You see what we're doing here, right? Okay? So now, um, let's see, what do we got here? So now our, our side connecting pieces, we can kind of sort out the length of those. So now, oops cheat that over a little bit. Alright. So, well, yeah, so we're just going to weld that. Weld that, weld that. Okay, that looks pretty good. So we got 10. What did I say? No. I'm sorry, that's, that's wrong. So it's 15 total in here. So that's 10. We want 5 in there. I'm sorry, I screwed that up. All right, so we got five in there, so 15, 21, 23 and a half. That's 23 and a half. Okay, I'm going to say 24 here. Let's do that, 24. Okay, um, I don't know. And then uh, this distance here, we probably should have enough room for all of that in there. So I'm going to say that's about... 12 inches, but let's see what, uh, well, it looks like we got plenty of, uh, got plenty of meat there. I can make that a little bigger. Let's make that 15, okay, just for fun. Okay, so uh, I think we got some, uh, a bunch of saw work to do, and uh, so let's do some sawing. we want to push pins through or something like that so, uh, it would be a lot harder to put in uh, after the fact here so I don't think it's going to hurt anything strength wise uh, for what we're doing here
will uh, hopefully keep it from uh, closing down when the uh, the blade breaks through there. Misbehave. Okay. the uh, weld from the tube that's pretty gnarly <laughs> all right we got the uh, this is the top rail this is this rail up here that our hydraulic ram is going to uh, attach to and I went ahead and took that off of the uh, the tow jack and it has a couple of threaded uh, holes in the base and the idea is that this will mount from underneath and I'm leaving a little gap between the two main rails there uh, for these fasteners to go through and then let's just go ahead and uh, show you there So then this will sit against that and actually uh, a nice thing is I'll be able to slide it back and forth on that if I uh, if I need to do something that's you know kind of not symmetric or whatever so let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna weld these uh, little spacers in here and then uh, kind of get everything ready for the main welding uh, of the whole assembly so we can jam this thing together and uh, get back to what we were supposed to be working on. sanding these edges here uh, to get the saw marks off of there so it looks a little nicer. this tack. Alright, just double check. Make sure 
nothing's moved. That's my number. Okay. All right, I think I'm going to stand it up and we'll just do kind of a, a quick uh, double check and then we'll do some uh, heavy duty welding. inches of stroke to there and I think this is a six inch stroke cylinder six or seven maybe I'm not positive um, sometimes you can tell from the, the part number 700 bar RC 106 so I think it's a six inch stroke so um, that's good so this is a 10 ton cylinder here so now we, well, in a little bit, we're going to have a, a 10 ton uh, scrap metal dog meat uh, hydraulic press. So, okay, so we're going to do some serious welding here, all around this stuff here, uh, and then here. And once again, we have a kind of a natural uh, weld prep here for a nice heavy weld in there. Um, now, I'm not worried about it at, it at all. <laughs> you know from a strength standpoint but we're gonna we're gonna pump it up to uh, we'll see if we can put 10 tons on it after we get it all welded up and uh, see if we're happy with it so let me uh, get set for some uh, for some welding here Put some little uh, some little feet under uh, the ends here, just so it kind of sits better. It's not trying to sit on this whole this whole beam. Um, and you know, when this thing's under load, it's going to curve a little bit, so I don't want it to rock around. It gives me a place to clamp it down to the bench. So let's uh, weld those on, and um, then uh, I think we're. Uh, we're ready for a, uh, a load test here, so. Okay, so we're pretty much cooled off. I think we're ready for a uh, uh, kind of a maximum uh, maximum load test. So. PSI uh, pump here for sure. Um, well, I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, this this kind of goes with all the uh, all these uh, inner pack cylinders. Okay. A little deflection there. Let's get a little more. Well, 
pretty sure that's pretty close to 10 tons. Oh yeah, a little more. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but uh, it's got a little wiggle to it. This one, that one looks pretty straight. No, it's not bad. Okay, so here's, here's where to watch. Let me, one more. When I release it, so watch carefully, you'll see the, the load uh, come off of the frame. I don't know if you saw that. I can see it from here. This uh, deflection went down, so. Oop, okay, a, little bit of, a little bit of oil there. Mr. Seal didn't. Uh... So, let's, let's do what we did this whole thing for, which is to straighten these stupid things. So, uh, let's see if we can do that. Okay, so this is just, it's just clamped right now. There's no, there's no force on it. And then you can see, you see how wonky that is there? So we're kind of right on the high spot there. So let's give it a, let's give it a little English there and see what we got. straight. Well, that's that's the full uh, the full monkey there. All right, let's see if we helped it. Oh yeah. Okay. That worked. All right. So I think what I'll do is I'll spread these out a little bit. And that'll, uh, that will uh, give us a little bit more, more grunk for our dollar, right? Now this is one of the, uh, this is one of the wider fingers here. Okay, so now I got to cock the other way a little bit, so. You know, one more little, uh, one more little dingus. I don't want that to fully retract. All right, I'm gonna call it not too bad. All right. Okay, so I think our press is uh, functional here, and it looks like it's just got enough oomph to uh, to do what we want it to do with these things. And uh, so now I can get back to straightening all these. And then we can go back to the Brown and Sharp MicroMaster. Anyway, uh, uh, leave a comment if you like the uh, uh, dog meat uh, scrapyard press.